I should start smoking. No, you can enjoy no? it without cigarettes. Okay. Dave and Jimmy gather around the radio for a story. Let me get out my, my book. If I read from the, the storybook called Petty First World Problems. Enjoy a story about gluten, uh, a gluten diet. Uh, my daughters are trying a gluten-free diet. Yes. What's gluten? It's in every carb, basically. Everything I love is yeah. gluten. Yeah. I am not on a gluten-free diet. No. In fact, what they're not eating, I probably eat. Yeah. So anyways, they're trying this. Not because any of them are allergic. It's become some white girl told her them on Instagram, <laughs> and they're white, and they connected and said, okay, I guess I got to give that a go. It's so true. So I'm cooking, I'm cooking pizza. And I was like, okay, Abby, I guess you can't yeah. because you're gluten-free. She goes, well, there's, cauli crust. well, there's cauliflower crust, Dad. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you son of a bitch. So I get back in the car, go to the store, come back with gluten-free cauliflower crust. I put that down, Ugh. put two other pizza shells down that are mega gluten for my wife and I. Yes, and I just start yes. doing all this stuff. And Abby's watching me do all this stuff. Yeah. Oh, God, I revealed exactly who, which one uh -huh. it is. And uh, she's, okay, now I got a question, Dad. When you took out the gluten-free cauliflower crust, did you then touch the gluten <laughs> crust? Because there could be cross-contamination oh, no. of gluten upon your fingers. Oh. And I gave her the look, you know, that look that communicates three paragraphs instantaneously. Yeah. The look of like, this is not fentanyl. You are not allergic to gluten. It's okay if a little corn dusting comes from that crust and goes to that crust. I was right. like, I'm fine. Just sit down. Right. So I make her a spectacular veggie loaded pizza. Yeah. Stick it in the oven. Everybody's ready to go. Uh -huh. I put it in front of her. and I'm kind of proud. It's like, okay did what I did to do and this is going to be good mm -hmm. and then she goes I know I didn't tell you what we gave up cheese no! as well no! like, well what part what, why did you say okay to a pizza I mean no. what else is it going to be at that point you should die that's when no that's when <laughs> no I took the plate or bread and the, the pizza and I threw it like a frisbee into the backyard <laughs> it burned my hand but I threw it and before the uh, gluten-free pizza cauliflower crust that just uh, turned into little bits of stuff, it flew for about three feet. No. It was glorious. No. And then my hands all covered in liquid no. cheese, and I felt like a moron. Yeah. And that's my story. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimate reasons to give up gluten. Was uh, this... How did this compare to that time that you got in a fight with your family at a restaurant and you had to walk home on the railroad tracks? <laughs> that at least story this was now over quickly. It's going to leave it, live in infamy. Well, duh. They were teenagers to teenagers, yeah. and they were sassy as hell. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I just, and then when my wife joined in on their side, and I'm sitting there at a table with five, I'm like, mm. I, all I picture is like, you know how much I work. <laughs> to allow these things to happen. And you're just jumping on me. And I, at a point, I just had a, my eye fluttered and went, I'm walking home. <laughs> and again, like most decisions, great for the first five seconds, and then you're walking down a railroad track because that's the fastest way home. Did you have a stick with a little uh, it's, handkerchief? Yeah, there's like, a classic in it. image of a hobo. <laughs> no, I just walked. And but, you know, obviously, by the time hours later, when I got yeah. home, they were all home. And Carrie was sitting in the driveway waiting for me, looking like you some bitch. I don't think there were phones then, right? So you, they couldn't even, like, blow your phone up and say, what are you no, doing, Dad? No, no, it was just oh. Dad's now walking home on the train. Yeah. I think that would be very satisfactory. And I think that's something my husband would do. Because he already said he's going to go missing when my teenager, or my daughter becomes a teenager. He's going to leave leave a tooth in a car and just go walk into the woods. Oh, parenthood, it's fun! You can be a parent in the next nine months with tools just lying around your house.